What if I tell you that aiming for perfection in everything you do is actually a form of paralysis and procrastination and a form of low self-esteem and not living up to your potential? The reason for that is because there's so much things that happen in this world. There's so much activity that not any single product or any single invention or any single video or article or website that you make is going to make a difference. And if you focus on everything having to be perfect, you'll never actually get anything fucking done. And what's the reason for that? The, re the reason for that is because the matter of good enough, you know, the, 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 the level of good enough is something pretty universal. When you create a website, when you do a video, most people pretty much agree on what good enough is. Now, that doesn't mean that they have the exact same definition, but they have a close enough approximation of what a good enough video looks like, a good enough article looks like, a good enough product looks like. But let's talk about perfect. Perfect is an ideal term. Perfect means that you have absolutely nothing wrong with what you're doing with that product. There's no such thing as perfect. So perfect is inherently infinite. You might spend five hours making a website, making it good enough and it looks great and it works great. Or you might spend three months working on a website just making sure that it's perfect when in reality there's no such thing and you, you can't even judge perfect because even if it looks perfect to you, it might not look perfect to somebody else. And even if it looks perfect, that doesn't mean that it actually is going to work and it's actually going to convert. So the more things you can accept as good enough, you know, when I make this video, I'm accepting it's good enough. When I meditate, even if it's not a good meditation, it's good enough. When I work out, I might not be in the mood, but it's good enough. So when you accept shit as good enough, it means you can move on to the next thing and invest your energy there. That's why I'm able to focus on so many fucking projects. I would not be able to do that if I only focused on perfect. I would probably be able to focus on one, two, maybe three things. And then on the th third thing, get pissed off because I can't reach perfect and then just quit anyway. <laughs> so fuck perfect, fuck perfection. Fuck that idealism, okay? Go for good enough. It's better to have something good enough than to have a perfect thing that would take five times more time to actually create an energy and would sap you of your creativity. I'd rather have 80% of all my daily goals than 100% of 40 of, of uh, half of them. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Please, good enough. Just make it good enough and start taking action. If you're not taking action because you're like, no, this has to be perfect, it's not perfect, Realize it's a form of low self-esteem and procrastination. You're simply trying to find excuses to focus on this thing and now move on to the next thing. You only improve your life by taking massive action. The quality is less important. It's about quantity first, quality later. Make sense? Cool. If you have any questions, let me know. Tell me if this video helped you. I do coaching, so contact me. And please subscribe if you haven't. I have many, many more awesome videos that you want to check out. Trust me. See you later.